G'day day lords, ladies and other monarchs, Jabberwocky here with episode 7 and 8 of Bridgerton. Now I know it's been a while, my skin decided to revert back to high school Jabba form and I wasn't very appreciative of that so I just decided to not put makeup on for a while to see if that changed anything. It didn't. It's still trash. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> like I literally, I don't drink soft drink. I don't really eat that shit. Like I eat average, like I'm not the greatest, but I don't eat like chocolate a lot. I don't eat chips a lot. I don't know what, I don't know what I've done. I really don't. I haven't really changed anything either. I mean, I changed my skincare routine one, when it got bad because I wanted to like fix it and it's, it's helped a lot. It's actually gone down quite a bit, but it's still not great. So I don't know if I'm just being impatient and my new skincare hasn't quite kicked in yet, but you know what, we'll figure that out another day. <laughs> We need joy in our life and for some reason this brings me a monicum of joy and I'm really hoping that these episodes of Bridgerton don't reverse that. Maybe it's stress, you know what, maybe, maybe watching Bridgerton isn't a good idea. <laughs> the last thing I remember, I'm fucking throwing things now. <laughs> the last thing I remember about Bridgerton was the discovery of the pregnancy. Somebody getting a little bit SAE, you know, I'm not very... <laughs> I'm not very happy with uh, what Daphne did there. So that's going to be a whole issue in and of itself to resolve. And I don't really see that being resolved. And I swear to God, she gets pregnant of one sexual encounter. Um, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's just me talking out of personal biases because I know a lot of people that have struggled to get pregnant. But I, just, I hate it in movies and shit when like one sexual encounter is all it takes. Like fucking secret life of the American teenager, one, one encounter, the first encounter, this, you know, I, mm, oh, this is me. You know, it's not easy. Sometimes it's hard and we need to, you know, acknowledge that. Anyway, you know what, personal biases aside, I'm actually really excited to finish this off and I was going to make this a really super special occasion, but um, that would require actual effort on my part. I've, I've had a lot to do lately. Been a bit of a bit of a few few weeks you know like we've got shoved back into lockdown i can't film when we're in lockdown so i'm like the opposite of normal <laughs> content creators who just like smashed out a bunch of content over lockdown i can't do that because i live with my parents and their rooms are literally through that door i can hear everything they do they can hear everything i do and it's just a bit of a bit of a complicated situation you'll probably hear my partner's voice as well because he is just in the room beside the wall right next to me there his voice is loud it carries but you know what we deal with it because we love each other and I mean you and me not him and me you and me <laughs> I'm talking to you but you know what let's just get into it let's get into these episodes I'm excited to just fucking get it done I'm ready I'm not ready that was a lie all right boom please don't be really loud it was loud don't you sit there acting like you've done nothing wrong I mean, they're very obviously out there shooting. What? I mean, they would have taken them a while to set that up, honey. You know, you know that they're doing it. Are you both just... He has every right to be mad. I mean, so do you to a degree, but like, you basically... Him. This is a great combination. Piano, booze, and guns. The passive aggressiveness of this entire scene. You got yourself done. See, look, you can both do things at the same time. That's okay. Would you please ask Miss Nolan if my personal effects have yet been removed from the Duke's bedchamber? <laughs> Would you please inform her grace that I will allow no such thing? Should I really deliver the message, Grace? <laughs> I am not an owl. I shall welcome you back into my bed after your lies and deception. Yes. You fucking essayed him, honey. We must pack straight away. Yes, your grace. Oh, the news of the baby? Is it the baby thing? My brother seems to have been embroiled in scat. Yes. Beautiful. I will accompany you. This is a family matter. Separate bedrooms you are family. Yeah. Separate households will not be suffered. Also, he's quite good with scandal, so let him sort shit out too. He will help. I want that job. I want the job of running around delivering gossip. Somebody give me that job. Imagine how fit I'd be. Her engagement oh. to Colin Bridgerton was oh, nothing he... more oh, than sweetie. a sham. Oh, sweetie. I'm still convinced she's Miss. She's. I'm very convinced that she is Lady Whistledown. Is what I was trying to say. You should be worrying about your own family's fortunes at present. We are in just as perilous position. I mean, your daughter did marry a duke, though, so I think you're in a little bit better standing. Though perhaps if she can destroy her reputation. She can build it back up. She can restore one too. Mm-hmm. You just gotta find her. What a debutante you will be. <laughs> While there is no, I know she doesn't like it, but like, 
I love her. Of which you must have considerable amounts, I presume? I... I like the fact that she's actually helping her though. Cause like, I would have expected her to just like, just leave, just get, just leave. How does one sleep on a carriage? With great difficulty, I assume. And that sounded really formal. <laughs> I shall not discover I'm with child within the next hour, shall I? Ugh, I don't like this at all. Ugh. Miss Thompson must be in agonies over this lies. Why can I not visit? Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, he's so pure and precious and naive. Well, once the Tarn say that we still have the favour of the Duke and the Duchess, then the whispers may very well cease. I would have thought that, like, her marrying the Duke would have 100% undone any negativity around their family. So much to talk about, they simply have no breath left to discuss other matters. I'm so very glad this has all been settled on my behalf. Oh, Colin, no, they're trying to help you. Love, I know, but <laughs> they're trying to help you. I feel so bad for him. To not have married a stranger. She was not a stranger she was i mean she very much Whistledown was down knew her better than you Whistledown knows everyone's secrets and you are lucky to have learnt miss thompson's now instead of after your wedding day that was very pointed love you don't keep it very close to your sleeve do you i know you must think me a fool i think you have a very good heart love I only want to be near her to be with her despite all reason otherwise <laughs> did something happen sister back at cliveden Confide in your brothers, honey. You need to confide in someone so that, you know, you can begin the healing process. Someone can actually talk some sense into y'all. <laughs> the friend. I love the friend. Damn. Don't take it out on him. It follows no reason or sense, does it? What? Marriage. And there's not a bloody thing you can do about it. I mean, there's a few things you could probably do about it. Tell her the truth! <laughs> I really wish people would just talk through their problems. It would just save so much stress. The Queen is holding a luncheon this week. We will need to attend with my brother to signal our support. He would do anything for you, and you know that. Like, despite the shit you've pulled. Not three weeks since we were wed, yet already you imagine me disloyal. Is it such a wild imagining? Yes! We both know your reputation, Your Grace. It is clear that you find there is nothing left in our marriage. Nothing left. That's what I said. You fucking... <clears throat> no, I... <sighs> I really don't know how I feel about this because what she did really irked me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Mm. I want them to sort their shit out, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I feel like they're not taking what she did very seriously as a story beat. So does that mean I shouldn't take it seriously? On the staircase. On the staircase. Imagine the back pain, like, ow. Oh, it's a big staircase. Okay, so you're gonna have a lot of time before somebody actually makes it to you. <laughs> Should we go into the bedroom? Finish what we started? As long as you have a talk about it first, please. Explain. No. Oh my God, just explain it. Just talk about it, for the love of God. Then we shall remain married in May only. <laughs> this will not happen, do you understand me? Just explain why. Trust each other. Yes, Your Grace. I understand that quite well. No, you don't. Like, neither of you understand fucking anything about the other person because neither of you open your fucking mouths to say the right fucking word. And talk of friendly affection as if you have not just committed a grave sin against you. Speak not of sin, Mr. Bridgerton. I did not come here to be shamed by you, nor anyone else. I mean, I don't think she deserves shame for being pregnant. She deserves shame for lying to him about it the way that she did. That's the thing that she is shameful for. You may think me a villain, but I did what I thought I might. And I also understand that. No one ever truly helped me or guided me in a different direction. Yeah, no choice. I had no choice. Had you arrived? I needed to wed and you. Yeah. You were the only man who offered me even a glimpse of happiness. So I should feel flattered then? No. Consider myself lucky that you chose me. No. Lied to me. Tried to trick me into a fraud of a marriage. You deserved better, honey. I mean, she deserved help. She deserved help and not somebody who was in a precarious financial situation that was just using her to get her riches back or to reclaim her name. It was just unfortunate situations on all fronts. You wish to know the cruelest part of your deception. Is that you truly felt something. If you had simply come to and me and asked, told me of your yes. situation, I would have married you without a second Yes, thought. he would have. Uh, did I or did I not say that? Because he's Bridgerton and that's what fucking Bridgerton men do. But I see now that was all a lie.
Are you gonna offer her help? I believe I would like to return home now. Offer her help. After all, we don't want another scandal. Would... Offer her help. You are a duchess. You have the means to help her. I'm gonna fucking spit shit. Like, like I don't know how much like uh, the gossip in London reflects in um, Hastings. Like you could just say she was going back home and then just take her to the to the Duke's place. Are you yet with child? We have certainly been devoting our energies to the endeavor, Your Majesty. We should hope to see our queen soon satisfied. See to it that you do. I love her. I don't know what it is about her, but like cherish her. You must join me for another drawing lesson. As I said, improvement is all a matter of practice. He's just so he's so concerned about this situation. <laughs> In all kinds of peculiar places. <laughs> <laughs> ah, were you able to meet my friend Weatherby at my party? I think I met his behind. <laughs> I think I got a cop a good eye full of that. Presence. Good day. It's not you that he's worried about, love. It's 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 the wife. It's not you. He's not concerned about that. <laughs> Patience has limits. Get me an answer. Your queen commands it. Of course. Your majesty. <clears throat> Both an honor and a curse, I imagine. Excellent timing. What was all the tittle-tattle concerning your brother? Mm. A mere coincidence, Lady Danbury, I am sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is working. I have heard nary a peep about Mr. Bridget. She's so astute, and I love her for that. The Thompson girl. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm hosting a party. I would very much like you to attend. We love a good party. It's the only time that she will be with you in public. Only you, Your Grace. A special soiree with the members of the Tom, of which you are the newest member. It's a ladies' luncheon, bro. They always wear the brightest of colours. It would have taken some fucking balls though, right? To walk into that party dressed like a fucking highlighter. <laughs> it would have taken some balls. And you know what? For that, I will give her props. Diana's gone too far this time. And I thought you her greatest admirer. Not when she smeared the name of my greatest friend. Oh. <laughs> for Sedan's identity, we will convince her to publish a retraction and restore your family's reputation. Will be well again. Oh, I, I love you. you two so much. I'm going to cry, but I'm doing my eye makeup, so I'm trying really hard not to. Both have been so duped by that scheming hussy. Oh. To think that Miss Thompson would take advantage of my kindness after I Oof. opened my home to her. You must believe. I had no idea of. Oh, I'd smack her. I'd smack her. I feel sorry for her daughters. That should teach them. Well, calm down, teach honey. Them what, Miss Cowper? Judging not, lest we too be judged. And the mum knows something isn't something right. Something troubles you. Yeah. I fucking love her mum, man. Merely trying to be of help. Do you know what might have truly helped matters? If your motherly advice had actually prepared me to wed, whatever do you yeah. I mean, Mama, that you sent me out into the world no better than a fool. I don't think that was her exactly. I think that was just society as a whole. If you had informed me about the things that were truly important, if I'd have known the truth, then perhaps I. No. Oh. Mm. Daphne. Don't hurt her mama, no. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but again, I don't think it was, I don't think it was her I, as much. I think it was also, it's like society kind of put her into that box, or pushed her into that corner, I should say. We would have been able to rid ourselves of Miss Thompson the moment we learned of her condition. I mean, true. None of this would have happened. But also, lady. a disease. The Duchess of Hastings, she is here. <laughs> What is he even doing? What is he even doing? For what it is worth, I am sorry. Your brother is a sweet boy. You do not need to. Well, I mean, you do, but like, I get that you were just trying to do what was best for your kid. And I wanted to tell you that what you felt you had to do, I understand. I wish it had not happened this way. No, you are certainly not the only one. Mm. Yeah, I kind of wish you hadn't fucked over me brother and broke his heart, but uh... The next thing I knew, my course is stopped. And I found myself with child and... You don't know how he reacted because he was on tour. Oh, do you know where he is stationed? His regiment? Was ever for, Your Grace? I hear General Langham and his wife. You could just ask. Perhaps I could speak to him. Or her and have, have Sir George found. Yeah, exactly. What use would that be? 
George does not want to be. You don't know that. No rank, no protection, no support for you or your child. Surely anything is better than that. Mm -hmm. Why should he be the one to choose your future? Exactly. When he clearly cares not for the outcome. I mean, I think you're projecting a little bit there. Perhaps I can make him come back and take responsibility for you and his child. This is all I wanted. This is all I wanted. Women protecting women. You truly think you can do this? I assure you, Miss Thompson. I'll give it a fucking crack, mate. What is this bastard up to? I have defeated the mm. And I'm confident I shall continue to do so. Mm. I agree. Appetite for my exhibitions, but, but they are expensive, which is why I'm not here to invest. I have a more lucrative. You're gonna ask him to fucking lose, aren't you? Say if you and I to come to some arena. Oh, you're gonna ask him to lose. That's the outcome of your match. Oh. You agree to throw your next match. And I'll make such a wager on your opponent that even half my winnings will set you and your family up for life. My honor. I was gonna say I feel like I feel like he wouldn't go for that. And don't you dare threaten him, I swear to God. He was a soldier, yeah? Managed to flee the colonies after serving in Dunmore's regiment. Do you think he sought his freedom? Or for his future son to become some exhausted fighter stumbling into the ring with <sighs> food on the table for his family? Careful, honey. Not dare speak of my family. I mean, he's not really in the situation in which he can play the lord, but like... I only mean to say I, I, I'm doing this for my family too. I mean, I get that, but it's... You, you can't fix your problems by utilizing the same means that you arrived at these problems. <laughs> Do you like my, my Harry Potter wand fucking brushes, bro? <laughs> my mate got them for me ages ago and I only just found them again. This, yes, you'll know, you'll know Lady Danbury throws a mean fucking collar, mate. Your grace. <laughs> I love it. Come to my den of iniquity. I love it. Oh, you're my favourite. Have you a good time, ladies? Have you a good time? Each turn, all you have to do is set your token on the card. You believe the dealer will turn over. Now, ladies. I want to be here. I want I want to take part in this. I want to be there. <laughs> all it takes is a little practice and perseverance. Just like a marriage. Dun dun dun. Is that her? Is it her? It's not her. Guarantee, he's just ho hoping that it's her, right? Mm. But imagine if she came back with child though, like, like this family cannot see the end of it, mate. The game is not over yet, Your Grace. <laughs> I wonder, Mrs. Lang, Kitty, please. You have won so much of my money, it is only right. <laughs> it's only right you call me by my name while you fuck me. Duchess, you win again. <laughs> Are they plying her with it so that she'll spill everything that's wrong? It's a fine colour. And the bubbles? What is it? Is he drinking beer? I beg your pardon with your constant struggles. You cannot manage it, can you? Hey, your responsibility. You fulfilling the promise that every firstborn son makes to his father before he dies. Do you think he's looking down on you now? Ashamed. Oh, come on. Mortified at what you have done. Don't take I it out on him. What would the former Viscount say? I kind of saw that one coming. <laughs> the furniture! <sighs> I mean, you're both taking problems out on one another that don't have anything to do with each other. If the two of you just used your goddamn words in the right way, imagine the shit you'd figure out. She's pissed as a fart, isn't she? Let me. With four brothers, you cannot imagine the nasty cuts I've tended to over the years. You're more than a few cups deep, love. <laughs> She's got to smell like it too, right? You still very much love each other too. It's just stressful. It's just stressful. Look at the way he still looks at you, honey. Okay, here comes the glitter that's gonna go everywhere. 
Doesn't he have like a massive cut on his lip? Wouldn't that hurt? Am I thinking too much into it? Why will you not unfold yourself to me? A child would be a blessing. It would, just explain, for the love of God. Tell me why you are so adamant. Because I swore a long time ago that I would never sire a child. There you go. I do not understand. Because my father was a piece of shit. More than my mother. Mm. More than you. Me. And so I made a vow that his efforts would be in vain. That the lion would die with me. All of this would have been fixed if you had taken the Bridgerton name, I'm just so saying. this is all. It's a vendetta. Because of a vow. You know what his honour means to him. You made a vow to me too. Or, or has our wedding day slipped your mind? I told you. You told me that you could not have children. I mean, that's... You did not tell me it was would some, not, yeah. some token of revenge against a man who no longer walks this earth. I swore to him on his deathbed. And you betrayed me in our marriage bed. Damn, I mean, you did too, but, you know, we're just going to skip over that, I guess. Let me be certain I understand. You will neither have children, nor the happiness we could have together because you promised your father you would not. Yeah, doesn't it make more sense to live a happy life despite of him, like in spite of him? Say it. It cannot be undone. I mean, it can. You can just go to his grave and say, you know what, I take it back, mate. You will know then which vow you have broken and how we are to spend the rest of our lives. Miserable, together, perfectly happy apart. I get his point of trying to keep his word, but you know that living a good life would be exactly the way to get back at your father without losing anything, right? See, she could be Lady Whistledown too, because now that we know about the, the party room, you know, all of the gossip that comes out when people are drinking constantly. There's that as well. Joe will make a fortune or ruin it. Unless one... No, honey. No other event. But my luncheon. Ooh. At least she did not say anything odious. It is far worse. To not be mentioned at all. She wrote nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. New arrival <sighs> within the year. You're really gonna wear white when you're expecting it though. Would you wear a white nightgown when it's about that time of month? I feel like you wouldn't. In the past, every <sighs> whistle down revelation. Someone needs to get her a pin board and from string. <laughs> One could have borne witness. But the column that singled out Marina was different. It was personal. Your mama did not just help Marina hide her condition all on her own. Well, of course not. Every servant in our household knew. Servant is unlikely. So perhaps a tradesperson? Someone who. Visited have you not regularly might have seen or the postman postman pat the general will not concern himself to write back to you your grace you do not know that you will pay attention to the words of a duchess you must are you so unworldly i i'm sorry i your help is greatly appreciated but there is nothing more you can do he won't pay attention to a woman is that the thing whoa look what i have done <laughs> In the attempt to fix, I have made it worse. Soon you will forget Miss Thompson's name and it will... No, you won't. Don't fucking lie to the boy. Taking your place in society should be an exciting time in a young woman's life. Mm. She doesn't just want to be about society. She wants to actually... Perhaps I have been rushing you. We need not hasten your coming out before you feel prepared. Oh, she's learnt. She only means well. She only wants the best for her girls. Oh, honey, I feel like he is okay with it, considering he was, you know, frolicking also. I would simply like to understand your situation. Because <laughs> I may or may not have fucked your wife. I just want to know if you're chill with it. <laughs> I'm in love with Lord Weatherby. Ah. We're married. And our marriage affords my wife her freedoms and protection. Ah, there you go. There's a happier union than most of the people in this room have, I assure you. Yeah, they're friends. You have no idea what it is like to be in a room with someone you cannot live without, and yet still feel as though you are oceans apart. Oh. Stealing your glances, disguising your touches. We cannot so much as smile at each other. Oh, honey. It takes courage. It does. 
to live outside the traditional expectations of society. Yes, it does. You talk of doing the same. But perhaps it is merely just that. I don't think he has a problem with it. I think it's he was more worried about the fact that he may or may not have slept with his wife. <laughs> they will unmask Whistledown and she should be made to pay for her impertinence. That noxious gossip rag will finally cease to exist. All right, Serena, calm down. Child, go. It's all right, you don't need the queen's approval. I still think it's the dressmaker, I'm just saying. He's a tradesperson. I would like to make a stop and pick up a friend. A friend? A friend. Should I not have a friend? You don't let her have friends, brother. Please do not tell mother. <laughs> I'm not bound by the rules of society, but I'm bound the, by the rules of being a son. Mademoiselle Bridgerton. This is my sister Louise, and we will be dropping her at home. You know it, you, mm, Louise. Come on, come on. <laughs> or are you too distracted by the fact that she's with your brother? Question her, question her. The entire ton were there and I did not have a single worthwhile exchange. The entire ton, you mean everyone except for the Featheringtons. <laughs> yes, mm. everyone except. Your mm. mm. did not just help me in a high tech condition all on her own. Well, of course not, every sap. Bitch. A word as good as gospel. Bitch. Bitch, did I? Bitch, did I? Is everything well, Eloise? Fucking fantastic. I'm having a great night. <laughs> I have no idea what those hand movements are. I would love to actually learn that. That would be fantastic. I'd, I'd like to know how conducting works, please. <gasps> She'd be there. Oh. Why is discount young Johnny Depp touching her hand? I have emotions about that. You're not trying to abort this baby, I swear to God. I mean, you know what? No judgment. I've changed my mind. You're in a bit of a pickle of a situation. Come on, you two. Let the music settle into your souls. Did you feel it? Did you feel the... Did you feel the blood or did you feel sick? Cause like, I mean, I know, I know the, I know the feeling when you like suddenly feel the period coming, <laughs> but it could also be morning sickness. She hasn't hurt herself, has she? Oh, please don't have hurt yourself. Ugh. Marina! Mama! Mama, make haste! Marina! Marina! Marina, I'm here, it's okay. Do something, honey. Make her puke. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it was the blood. How did I? I don't know much about how they handled it back in the day, but like, couldn't have been comfortable. Yeah. No, I know she really wants a baby. You can fucking sort it out, mate. Do you really hate your father more than you love her? No. I will not cry, I just did me under eye. I will not cry, I just did me under eye. I will not cry, I just did me under eye. Listen, listen, fucking, I fuck, did I or did I not? If I'm wrong, I will cop too. But I'm pretty confident because if Eloise has figured it out, that means that I'm on the same level as Eloise and that makes me happy as an individual. And I would like to hold on to that happiness, please. All right, I'm excited to continue. I don't even know what to say at this point because the next episode's the finale and I'm terrified because I just want them to sort it out. Just fucking sort it out, man. Just, just sort it out. I know it's a question of his honor and his like um, whole thing about keeping his word and shit like that, but she made a point when she said that you made a vow to me when we were married, which vow really means the most to you. You know, the one where he spites your father or the one where it also spites your father, but you also get to be happy. Figure that one out. I think my whole concern is also that I don't want the Duke to be entirely villainized because he did lie and what he did was wrong, but she, you know, what she did wasn't great either. <laughs> I still have a feeling about it, but like it's just not being addressed at all, so 
I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be thinking into it as much as I am, but I also feel like we shouldn't just let it let it go, you know? Anyway, I'm just going to jump into the next episode. Here we go. Over a plate of sugared almonds and licorice in just four and a half minutes. Very nice. Girl got game, mate. Beware indeed, blushing newlyweds. You know not the future that... I feel like they have the healthiest fucking marriage. With their little boy, with his little baby vest. You are permitted to smile. <laughs> I'd like to take some artistic licensing. Perhaps his grace might place his hand on the duchess's shoulder so that you both can look as happy as you surely must be. <laughs> I feel like you already know how happy they are, love. I feel like it doesn't take much. Be in the room for them for five minutes and you'll fucking know. Ugh, God. You two. I just, I can't deal with you. There it is. There it is. It's all you needed. A picture of devotion. Skin on skin contact, and all of a sudden it's like there's no fucking issue at all. All right, I've figured it out, Fizz. You just never stop touching. I would have expected this from anyone but you. You think just because Madame Delacroix has a paid occupation or because she does not reside within the bounds of Grosvenor Square, she's different, is that? Oh, it? no, it she's is not that at all. deserving of my attention. Oh, oh, oh no. Polite society is appropriate. It's not what I'm saying. What are all. you saying? Bitch, she's Lady Whistledown. Daphne and the Duke, and then Anthony and. Yes, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm about to spill all the family's tea right then and there, love. Come in. Are you okay? Is she all right? What are you doing? Mama said you must rest. I'm already feeling much improved. Marina. What? Penelope, I assure you, I am well. That tea has accomplished what I needed it to. Are you sure? Season over. I can finally go home. So that means you are no longer with child? I would have felt something by now, I'm certain. I think you need to go to a physician, love. That was not my intention. But I am sorry for everything I've done and said. You were right about Colin. Mm -hmm. He is a good man with a good heart. You were very good to him. I am certain one day he will see it. It's not the thing, though. It's not what this is about. That is odd. I wasn't expecting any callers today. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna be him. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh. Rona. Uh. Are you quite well? Uh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't cut away from that. You can't cut away from that. You're gonna fucking straight murder me. What the fuck? It will certainly be the event of the season. Of course, my young ladies will. You have the gall to speak to me face to face. I mean, the kids, mm, I just think like the kids are not her. You might explain to your young ladies, Lady Featherington, how they ended up in such an unfortunate situation and who exactly put them there. Mm. Mm. Go, honey. I certainly would have no problem extending my invitation. For them, not you. It seems a carriage has arrived back at the house. A Mr. Crane is there. I beg your pardon. Did you say... Crane. Would that be a Sir George Crane? Ooh. That man is not who you believe him to be, Lady Featherington. I'm so confused. It is not George, but his brother, Sir Philip. Oh, George is dead. Come bearing grim news today. Yeah. My brother George died on the battlefield. Yeah. I did say that that was likely what happened, right? I'm making it easier. Wait. Now you know, though. All this time he loved me. Mm. I thought him a villain, but he was wrong. Oh no, <laughs> no, I will not. I will not. I have eye makeup on. And I was wrong. You were, yeah, yeah. The snake, the snakes, mistakes happen, the snakes. A young lady can never have too many dresses. <laughs> You're not subtle, love. Perhaps she will. What makes you say that? Because she knows what is good for her business and Angering loyal customers is not good. She just straight admitting it. Whether those loyal customers be Featheringtons or Bridgertons, even. Lady Whistledown might wish to examine what she writes about both. Indeed. <laughs> is, this, is this confirmation? <laughs> so whoever Whistledown is should be careful. I would hate her to be silenced before she has a chance to change her ways and make things right. I believe Whistledown is smart enough to take care of herself. The fact that you even knew what was being discussed. Charming chatting with you, Madame Delacroix. <laughs> Super charming. Lock the door. 
Was that a we have a lot of lot to discuss kind of lock the door, or that was that a let's get back to business lock the door? <laughs> oh god, those floorboards, Jesus! And by floorboards, I mean tiles. You know what would be great? Her mum having a word with the Duke. That would be great. Your Grace. Your Grace. Your Grace. Heading to Will's boxing match. Mm. Will you be accompanying me? No, I have much to do for the ball. Mm. But of course you should go and express your support. I want the prince back. I want the prince back. I liked the prince. What did your father do to make you take that vow in the first place? We do not need to have this conversation. Yeah, we do. We deserve more than that, indeed. Just fucking talk about it. Jesus Christ. I am doing this for your own good. You're really not. Better what off is... without me. This was the question that I raised last time. Is he afraid of her dying in childbirth? Is that like an additional thing on top of, you know, the, the father vow bullshittery? If he throws this match, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Mm. I'm doing a concern. Perhaps that purse will be enough to keep us happy. Yeah, but if they find out, honey. I actually don't know if it's illegal in this day and age or not. I know it's illegal now. Or if it's more just frowned upon. I want to place a sizable wager on this match. With what, love? With what? My money's on the beast. What money? You can take the deed to my house. Oh, honey. Okay, you're not even gambling on a game, mate. You're gambling on a man's honour. An honourable man's honour. But an honourable man who loves his family very much. It's not as if you needed me here to wish you luck. You ready? Maybe talk to him about it. As I shall ever be. Yeah, I mean, he's your, he's your best mate. Have a chat. Oh, I think that's all you needed. Mm. I beg your pardon, my lady. But it seems my business here is not quite finished. I would very much like to speak to Miss Thompson. About your nephew or niece? marry you oh i do not understand after my brother clearly took liberties with your virtue i would merely be doing my duty oh sweetheart respectful marriage miss thompson oh. what a fine thing sir philip inherited the crane title okay you need to shut up honey i cannot marry this man I think he was kind of grateful for that. But he would have wanted you to be looked after. He would have wanted you to be supported. <laughs> this is probably your best outcome, love, societally. Anyway. <laughs> She's like, yes. <laughs> How romantic. I thank you for your offer, Sir Philip, but I believe you should now take your leave. I understand where she's coming from, though. John. Oh, shut the fuck up. I am no longer with child, Lady Featherington. So it is neither necessary nor acceptable for me to participate in any more unwanted arrangements or disingenuous schemes. Yes, go. Tell her. Tell her, baby girl. I'm not a fucking pawn to be used for your fucking financial gain. <laughs> what is it with that man's anime hair? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I thought my natural hair was bad. Y'all should see me in the morning. My hair be like I put me dick in an electrical socket. This whole fucking show is just people staring at each other longingly at boxing matches. Y'all are gonna bang in the back. You're gonna talk though? Like, I feel like a talk is worthwhile here. Ow! I mean, at least no one could hear them. Look, I'm gonna say no judgment on my behalf because he gotta do what he gotta do to support his family. I had no idea that Simon had trouble speaking as a child. How could you have done? Isn't like talking about it. The late Duke never even deign to read them how could because he was a piece of shit love are these the exact same color they're the exact same i have two of the exact same <laughs> Why? appears i could have used that luck of yours today your grace indeed you still managed to put on quite a performance don't judge him man you're a duke so or more money will you could have come to me appreciate the offer friend but i do not need your charity what happened to your honor my honor 
I'm honest with my family, love. Ever could be more honorable besides taking care of one's family. Hmm. Perhaps you should stop worrying about my marriage and instead put your mind to your own. That is not what this is about. Is it not? Because uh, I'm willing to wager your wife says differently. Watch yourself. Has he ever led you astray, honey? Has he ever led you astray? So take it somewhere else and yes. finally do something about it. Exactly. Thank you. As I said, if anyone was going to talk some sense into him, it would be him. And you need to take that on board. Like... What is this? More yeah, but now he's going to... How did you get it? I had an inside tip. What kind of tip? The good kind. The illegal kind. This is only half the winnings. Well, where's the other half? I used it to pay off my man. No matter, because this is more than enough. Yeah, but now he's gonna have a taste for it. You need to you need to cut this in the lamb, love. That's not the phrase. But you know what I meant. <laughs> Two hours later. Nip it in the bud. That's the phrase <laughs> that I was looking for earlier. Oh my god. I thought you enjoyed breakfast in the morning room. I wish for different scenery today. I wanted to look at your pretty face. I can go if you would like. No. We've already begun. Oh my god, are they actually going to try to use their words? I'm going to Bridgeton House this morning. Dear Francesca has returned from Bath. It seems my entire family is gathering. Are you inviting? Would you care to okay, join good. me? Yes, thank you. I love the way he hesitated because he was like, oh, oh, she invited me. <laughs> I do not share you, my food. I'm not to do what you did the other morning ever again. Do you understand, Eloise? Oh, you mean visiting my new acquaintance, Madame de la Croix? She's not your... I was wrong about her, brother. She's wonderful. You have nothing to worry about. I was not worried about anything. Not worried about what? <laughs> my food. <laughs> I have a friendship with Genevieve de la Croix. You cannot judge. You cannot judge. You cannot judge, sir. Good for you, brother. There we go. You deserve contentment. We all do. Thank you. Whatever is in those candies. <laughs> Pure fucking happiness that I'm trying to keep to myself. Thank you. Who's singing? Who's singing? Is it Colin? Is it Colin? Is it Colin singing? <laughs> I finally found her. Lady will sit down. Who is she? She is Madame Delacroix. Okay, I feel like I'm wrong now. Ah, he's precious. Would a pony do? Oh, I Your could not fathom. Oh, he's gonna do origami. Look at him go. A master of all talents. There are two others just like it, Lady Featherington. <laughs> I feel like your sense of fashion is like completely individual and I love that for you. Oh, oh, oh. still preggers love. Miss Thompson, what is it? Why are people not going to physicians? I believe I need a doctor. Where would, why didn't you go to the doctor to begin with? You fainted, you almost poisoned yourself. That's a nice courtyard though. Not gonna lie. How does the wax of those candles not just like casually drip over everyone? Oh yes, I would like the dining chair that has the wax shower, please. He was, he was completely discussed. <laughs> I'd wait the both of you were. I mean, the, the, the original issue is still there, love. You guys are still gonna talk about that. You know, other than that, I am happy for you. Mate, I don't even know. I don't even know, mate. But I'm just gonna keep this on. My hair's a mess. Sienna, I am a Viscount. My sister is now a Duchess, and the Duke, my brother. Yeah. Now. There is no one that would dare say a thing. That's true. I mean, I don't know how true that is behind your back, maybe, but not to your face, at least. <laughs> um, fantastic. No, on. Have a happy ending, for the love of God. Take a leap, love. Take a leap. Lord knows you've done enough mental acrobatics with this man to deserve to take a leap. I think it wise for us to engage in three dances, would you say? Two. They're still dealing in dances. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
You guys still haven't talked about it enough for it to be solved, though. Perhaps you should like to this picture. <laughs> See this as a rehearsal. Until you are officially out, you need not feel so strange tonight. <laughs> you don't need to bite off the head of every man that looks at your love. But I mean, feel free to. For someone who hates ball gowns, we look exquisite in one. You do. But that doesn't define you as an individual, so don't stress. Oh, your cheese friend. <laughs> I'm happy for the girls. I don't think she deserves it, but yeah. Someone special in here for me, I presume. Only the best for you, my lord. Oh God, I'm concerned. Join us. I'm concerned. I can't read what that is. <laughs> I think I saw the word poison. Did I see the word poison? <laughs> Enjoy your evening. Ask her for a dance. Ask her for a dance. Ask her for a dance. I will fall off my chair. I owe you an apology. I did not see it at first, but I know you were only trying to prevent me from heartache with Miss Thompson. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't entirely unselfish, but it, it was out of concern for you. One should declare it. Assuredly. Fervently. Loudly. Look at her. Look at her leaping. Oh my God. <laughs> I have something I wish to tell you as well, Ben. Don't say like a sister, I swear to God. I'm leaving. First thing oh. tomorrow morning. I mean, fair. Oh, um, what was it you wished to say? I don't remember. I feel like her speech beforehand kind of uh, insinuated that. The night, Colin. Good luck on your come tour. on, you're not that stupid. You're not that naive. Colin, come on, honey. That was my chance to find out her plans for Whistledown. Oh. Pen, is everything come on, right? what's wrong? No, Entirely come on, right. you know you know her. Talk queen. through. Fuck the queen. No, fuck the queen. Fuck the queen. Go after her. Yeah, no, I know you're gonna. I know. Eloise. We worked out a whistle down delivers her missus to a printer's press on Lombard Street. Or when the rest of society is distracted by big events, like this one. Mm -hmm. It is how she operates. She will be seized there tonight. Brimsley. Oh. I need you. <laughs> You must see to Genevieve and sure she stays home Please, tonight. Not now. Gonna have to go yourself. Unchaperoned. I need you to take me somewhere straight away. Miss Eloise. I have pin money. A great deal of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Give me a moment, my love, and I shall return upstairs. Excuse me? I envision myself in your arm, dancing the entire night away. But my imagination was the furthest I could allow myself to go. Sienna, what are you doing? What mm. am I doing? I mean, you've, you've fucked her over quite a few times, mate. I am doing the very thing I have always done. You protected yourself. I am looking out for myself. I tried. What I know is that you are lost. And I cannot allow you to set me adrift as well. Fair, that's fair. It's heartbreaking, but it's fair. He does not wish for me to change. Good for you, love. Good for you. You need to let me go. Sometimes you gotta lose some to win some, mate. You just gotta cop it. You were given so many chances. Like, she gave him so many chances, too. I'm sorry, Sienna. Yeah. At least he can acknowledge it. Still give her the flowers though. Still give her the flowers though. Still give her the flowers though. You know, flowers are still nice. They can be used as an apology, as a goodbye. They don't have to just be for romantic notions. And they were very pretty, then they're just gonna go to waste. Why are you mad? Or are you just heartbroken? Don't do anything stupid, sir. Sir, to her. <laughs> Given them to her. Is it maybe not really her? Am I? Was I wrong? Were we wrong? Go, this is a trap. I feel like we were wrong. Maybe we were wrong because there was like a lot of a lot of cloak and dagger around that. Who else could it be? Pride 
Your grace. It'll cost you everything and leave you with nothing. You must mm -hmm. not allow it to happen to you too. Mm -hmm. Your father was a prideful man. I suppose I miss everything about him, really. The two of you mm -hmm. loved each other so very much. It is a rarity, I've come to realize. Well, that is not to say it was without its trials. Yeah, just because you love someone doesn't mean you never fight. I want to do so. Mama, I do not think we chose to love each other every single day. It is a choice, dear. One that is never too late to make. I may never be able to see your father again. I, I may wake every morning and and no, touch the no, pillow don't do that to lay his head. <laughs> I need to spray to set so I don't ruin it when I inevitably cry. Are we going to find out who Lady Whistledown is or is it going to be like a Gossip Girl thing where it takes into the last episode seven seasons down the track? I could do this dance. It's very jaunty. Actually, you know what? I, I couldn't. My, my boobs would be like right smacking me in the chin. <sighs> I'd have to have a very tight corset. Things would be flying everywhere. <laughs> ah, yes. The rain. Are they gonna keep dancing in the rain? They're gonna keep dancing, aren't they? Nothing. They're gonna keep dancing. Yes, it's because it's romantic. Dance, dance in the rain, honey. That's what I'd do. Okay, well, I, I'm, you might want to protect the very expensive painting, but other than that, out at once. She knows when a moment needs to be a moment. Now oh, the romantic speech in the rain. I found the letters you wrote to him as a child, and I read them. <laughs> a breach of privacy. He made you believe that you needed to be without fault in order to be loved, but he was wrong. Should you need any proof of the matter, then, then look just here. Oh, I am I'm not going to cry. <laughs> You may think you are too damaged and too broken to ever allow yourself to be happy, but you can choose differently, Simon. You can. You can choose to love me as much as I love you. That should not be up to anyone else. That cannot be up to anyone else. Don't let her walk away, love. Do not let her walk away, honey. 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 Honey, I guess that was a moment that needed more reflection. I'm thinking a full renovation of our country house is in order this. Oh no. Oh my lady. What? I'm so confused. Did she? He, he died, right? You're saying he is dead. I did he, I did see poison, right? Oh no. Oh no. Well, come on. Was she more concerned about the money than her husband? Mm hmm So he's died and left them in debt too, right? Are you guys still in your wet clothes? And what I do not know is how to be the man you need me to be. You are yourself. That's all she needs. You stay. You stay. And we get through this together. And we talk, we exchange words to build upon situations. I'm not entirely sure this is a solved issue yet, but I'm glad they're getting some, you know, reprieve from the constant... What's the word I'm looking for? I can't remember the word I'm looking for. My god, it's like in the tip of my tongue. Is it gonna finish with him finishing? Is that how this is gonna finish? <laughs> what a sticky conclusion. I guess that was his way of saying that he'll compromise. If there is to ever be a grander finish to a season than the one provided by the Duke and Duchess of Hastings. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Than others. I mean, it's sad, but it's what he wanted to do. Uh, I know it hurts, but to help you to find a reason every day to 
to enjoy the absence of your dear papa. Oh, right, yeah. Oops, I forgot about that. I straight forgot. <laughs> Big things too, like your babies, and eventually they add up to be enough. You're strong, Miss Thompson. Perhaps even more so than me. I like the fact that she gained an admiration for her. Like, I don't think, you know, it was needed or anything, but I'm glad that she actually developed an admiration for her. Still treated her like shit, but like in the end. <laughs> You're gonna take him up on the offer, yeah? I mean, he doesn't seem like a horrible man. Like, I can't tell. I mean, we've met him once, but you know, he at least did the honourable thing, which means he has some semblance of honour. Other than finding and promptly declaring my intentions to my new Viscountess, of course. Oh God, is he gonna fight for her? I finally determined the difficulty, love itself. Removing it from more romantic relations will make me all the better for it. My lord, honey. Honey, you have like found the answer and then reverted all the way back around to the wrong one. Give my regards to Madame Delacroix. Well, your regards will have to wait, Elle. Assume she's making a short trip back to France. Hmm. Odd considering she's not French. <laughs> you were with Madame Delacroix last night. Yeah, see, there's something. Mm. Please do not tell our sister that I left in the middle of the ball either. So you're wrong. Then who is it? <laughs> Are we going to find out who it is? Best tell me. Up to me. Yours truly. <laughs> you can't tell me. <laughs> what? Oh, this is Dan Humphrey levels of fuckery. <laughs> I can't. You can't do that to me. You straight can't do it to me like that, eh? Another. Another. I kick him in the face. <laughs> What is it with the wearing of white when things are bloody, like... Oh, he's so tiny. I must think of the name. How have you not discussed this yet? It must begin with the letter A. We do have family traditions, do we not? Do we? I, I must have not noticed that. <laughs> okay, well, that took it. A turn I was not expected. <laughs> I mean, I need another drink. I mean, it's not alcoholic, but I need another one. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna sit here and tell me that she wrote shit about herself and her own family. She pulled a straight Dan Humphrey on us. She kept it a secret from her best friend. <sighs> like, I get it. I get the, you know, the drip, you know, the passion, the gossip. How did she know all of the gossip, actually? Other than being part of like certain areas. You know what? Uh, I'm not gonna speculate because I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch everything now, knowing that. Unless it was a, a red herring, perhaps, and we'll find out in season two that she wasn't actually Lady Whistledown. She was just writing something. I don't fucking know. You know what? We don't know. You know what? Other than that, I enjoyed it. It was it was a fucking ride. I'll tell you that. It was a stressful, dramatic ride with a lot of problems that definitely could have been solved with like a sentence. A lot of these issues could have been solved with like six words in the right order spoken from the right person to the right person, you know? But you yeah. know this is why I don't, I can't do, I say I can't do teen dramas. I can, I can do teen dramas. They frustrate me so much because all of this, every single problem in a teen drama show is always so easily handled. Because <laughs> one of my, one of my pet peeves, one of the things that I hate the most, complications in the storyline that come from miscommunication. I cannot stand damned them. They hurt me. They hurt me emotionally. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was a good ride. I enjoyed that. I'm still a bit on the fence about what Daphne did. You know, how I feel about it, which isn't great, but you know, that's all right. They sorted their shit out in the end, I guess. There were lot, lots of points made about how keeping information in regards to fundamentals of life can sometimes lead one astray. That was a very good point to make because, I mean, in this day and age, thankfully, it's not as, not as hindering because obviously you've got the internet and you can find it out on your own if you're really curious enough. But it's also been taught in schools a lot more with a lot more understanding of how it helps people instead of this whole fear of like, oh, don't tell the girls that, you know, sex exists because it'll damage their sweet, sweet virtue. Because no, fuck you. I have a right to know things. I have a right to live as an individual. <sighs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, feel free to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell and comment down below whatever the goddamn hell you want because I am all for discussions. Nice discussions. Let's be nice people. Other than that, you know, anything you want. Fuck your chicken strips! I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>
cross naught, cross naught, Lady Whistledown.